Senator Tester answered questions on a wide range of topics, from energy to sanctuary cities to gun policy to health care. And he also addressed the elephant in the room, the debate that wasn't. This was an opportunity to be able to see and or hear us and get an idea on a lot of the very same issues we talked about here today that I think Montanans are very concerned about. So I think it's very unfortunate. Rosendale said he couldn't attend because he had plans for Father's Day and that he'd never formally accepted the invitation. The NBA had planned to televise the debate statewide from its annual convention at the Lodge on Whitefish Lake. Tester said he's gearing up for a tough race against Rosendale and two others, but that he looks forward to explaining what he stands for, including his work to make Washington get past bipartisanship to solve problems facing the state and the nation. He said that's been a problem on many issues, especially health care. We need to work together, put the politics of this aside, and come up with solutions that actually do drive down costs. But to just say we're going to repeal and take insurance away and add more instability to the system is not the direction to go, and that's what we've done for the last five years. He also defended his public release of allegations against VA Secretary nominee Ronnie Jackson earlier this year that led to Jackson's withdrawal and sharp criticism from President Trump. I take our Constitution responsibilities in this country very, very important, and the Constitution is clear on what the Senate does in confirmation and vetting. I did my job. The President didn't like, didn't like the job I did, but the Constitution was clear, and we'll continue to do my job. While Rosendale was a no-show this weekend, he has challenged Tester to five debates during the campaign. When Tester was asked Sunday if he's game for another try before the broadcasters, he said, just tell me the time and the place. Reporting from Whitefish, Mike Dennison, MTN News.